Bird scooters. I recently moved to Austin, Texas, and these things are literally everywhere. But what if I told you, you can actually make money with these electric scooters? Electric scooter companies like Bird, Lime, and the company Wheels who manages these things are actually paying people like me or like you to pick up these scooters from the street, charge them, and bring them back for people to use. I recently saw two people doing this where I live, so I ran up to them. Hey, excuse me, are you guys doing the scooter charging side hustle? I actually uh, do YouTube videos about like different side hustles and stuff that encounter got me the opportunity to shadow these people so today i'm here with lucas i ran into one of your friends a few days ago so today i'm gonna learn all about the lime scooter business like i kind of want to know like how did you get started with this you started like 10 months ago you mentioned yeah somewhere around there eight ten months ago uh i was just driving by some guy with a bunch of scooters i asked him how to get involved and kind of showed him groups and yeah and you've also like got some of your friends to help you out with it now right yeah definitely so i have a few people that work for me i got my brother-in-law i have two other employees and have one person arrive to one day. And how does that work when you have employees with this business? Like, how do you, like, organize everything? Uh, so what it is is everybody just gives me a call whenever they're ready to charge, and I make sure there's an open spot for them here at the shop. Lucas hires people like his brother-in-law to pick up and drop off scooters, and in return for charging them at his warehouse, he charges a 25% fee. Now, you might be wondering, why not just go out, buy the scooter chargers yourself, and keep all the profit charging at home? Well, you can do that, but getting enough chargers is 150 to $200 investment. And on top of that, in certain areas such as my own, in order to sign up to be a lime juicer, you need to be under a logistics partner such as Lucas. I'm gonna rent a U-Haul truck and collect as many lime scooters as I possibly can, but to do that, I need a logistics partner such as <coughs> Lucas to join under. To figure out how much I could make in a day collecting scooters after renting the U-Haul and the boss man's 25% cut, I shadowed Jonathan. How much money do you get per scooter that you end up charging? Like right now, this whole week is $7 a scooter. So 100 a day is $700? Yeah. Damn. That just goes to show the power of having a side hustle like this. Like, you can literally make way more money than working a normal job by just doing something creative like this. You're picking your own hours. You're working when you want to work. Finding the scooters to pick up is also very simple. A map on your phone pops up where all the low battery scooters are, and you drive towards that location. So when you find a scooter that needs to be charged, you can click to ring it, and then you listen for it. I think I see it up there. Oh, yeah, it's ringing right there. And then I can turn it on with this, and I don't have to push it I can ride it to the truck. Oh really? Yeah. We spent the morning picking up scooter after scooter after scooter. And not only did I get to see Jonathan run up a bag, but he also taught me a lot. Are there any scooters coming up? There's one, but they, they look like they're inside this walkway. Oh, okay. This is where we're at, and that scooter's like inside of a gotcha. like in a parking garage or something. So someone reserved a scooter before you could get to it. Is that like a issue in the business? Is yes. there like competition yes. and stuff? That's the, that's the big competition right there. So yeah, now I get why you guys like to get started early. That's, that's where the money's at. <laughs> started like 12 or something everything's already picked up avoiding scooters in parking garages being aware of competition and the early bird gets the worm these tips are going to be crucial to my success doing this side hustle the goal is to make two hundred dollars in one day and this should be more than achievable because jonathan picked up 19 scooters in 90 minutes and dropped them off at the warehouse to charge so we just finished about an hour and a half session of picking up scooters as you guys can see the back of this truck is pretty much full and how much money did we end up making uh -huh. $135.25. Dang, $135. Now we're gonna load all of these scooters into the warehouse over there and plug them in. So you guys rent a warehouse space where you charge all of the scooters. And how much does this run you every month, if you don't mind me asking for this space? Uh, about 11, 11, 50, right around there. Okay, and how much money do you spend a month on electricity for like plugging all of these scooters in? It varies to maybe a couple hundred bucks, maybe 200 bucks, 300 bucks, just depending on so, so about $200 a month? You know, sometimes it might be three bits or super big money. Uh-huh. Every day, Jonathan picks up about 60 scooters for $420 in revenue. After giving up 25% for using the warehouse space, he is left with about $315 profit before gas expenses. I'm curious to see how much I can make with this side hustle as a complete noob, so I rented a U-Haul for $19.95 plus 69 cents for every mile we drive. That definitely isn't ideal, but there's no way we're fitting scooters in the Ford Fiesta. Before we go about a whole night of collecting scooters, I do want 
want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor Stash, who in the next 30 seconds will show you how to get $50. Stash is a personal finance app used by over 6 million Americans. It makes investing easy, affordable, passive, and you can sign up for a Stash debit card where you can round up purchases to the nearest dollar and invest the difference. How can I help you? Hi, could I get an ice cream cone? So that ice cream cone cost us $2.05. Stash rounds it up to $3 and invests the 95 cents. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Make sure you guys sign up for Stash at the top link down below or click the pinned comment because right now they're doing a special offer. If you guys deposit as little as $1 into your Stash account, they give you a $50 bonus, so be sure to redeem that offer. On that note, it is currently 7.10 p.m. I'm with my friend Finance Unfolded and we're about to go out and see how many scooters we can collect. We're gonna try this side hustle at night as opposed to doing it in the morning like we did with Jonathan to see if that's better. I've got the scooter app open on my phone right now and we're heading towards the first scooter to pick up this is where the money started rolling in no way dude that's so easy just like that six dollars Scooter number one of the day. Hopefully we can get like 30 or 40. The first hour of picking up scooters went great. One scooter after the other was getting scanned and put in the back of the U-Haul until I had a dumb idea. I parked my U-Haul in this parking lot downtown and I have a bunch of scooters around me that I can go ahead and pick up. So instead of driving by the scooters, I'm just gonna simply ride the scooters back to the U-Haul. I think that's gonna make things a lot safer because the roads are super narrow downtown and this thing's pretty big. I began my new strategy of collecting two or three scooters at once before driving them all back to the u-haul but i got lost so guys things went a little bit south with this idea i got three scooters mark got two but i kind of forgot where the u-haul was parked luckily mark was able to text me the address and as you guys can see i'm 0.4 miles away so it's gonna be a pain to ride the scooters that far i thought i'd be able to ride the scooters all at once like this but it just wasn't working out three scooters at once like this is definitely over my limit i can definitely not drive these and pushing them them is extremely hard. 20 minutes later, I finally made it back. Mark also happened to forget where we parked, so I'm going to pick him up at a random Sitco right now, and we're also going to load his two scooters in the back. What's up, dude? So, you texted me. You almost got robbed. How did this happen? Okay, so me and Will split up, and a guy on the side of the road starts talking to me, and he's like, uh, he's getting mad at me, screaming some things at me. Why? No clue, but he wasn't even making sense. It wasn't like words. Oh, crackhead. So then he started following me. I took one scooter to the nearest, like, gas station, because was super well lit. I was there for like 10, 15 minutes and he was just in there with me as well. So he was just waiting for me to leave. Dude, that's so sketchy. I'm happy you're good. I know, we're chilling. But yeah, we still had to finish the job and we still got both scooters <laughs> in the truck. I would definitely say that method of collecting scooters is a lot more labor intensive. So I think I'm just gonna keep driving around the U-Haul and just try to be super careful as we do this. The rest of the night was an absolute grind. By the end of picking up so many scooters, my back hurt, my arms hurt. And although I sound like a baby saying this, I'm not really meant for any kind of labor intensive jobs. I'm more of a sit at a desk editing slash making TikToks kind of person. Nonetheless, in three hours of picking up scooters, I earned $195.50. Then we unloaded them all from the U-Haul to be charged. Mark and I have come to the conclusion you can make good money with this, but the manual labor is not worth it. I'd rather be a TikToker. Yeah. <laughs> I was exhausted. It was 11.30 p.m. at night and the scooters still needed to be charged and redistributed to new spots. The charging process took about two hours and dropping them off five at a time took 55 minutes, putting me in bed at 2.30 a.m. Would I do this side hustle again? Maybe. I was running the numbers to see if it would be worth it, and in seven hours of work, we made $195.50. Of course, that's before the 25% cut for using the warehouse space and renting the U-Haul. Those two things brings us down to a profit of $116.32, or $16.62 an hour. That got me thinking, though, how much does the boss man make? So, you can profit anywhere between like four to seven hundred dollars a day just depending on how you go about it hell yeah you showed me like some months just by yourself before you hired anyone you were doing like thirteen thousand yeah, dollars and so far for this month you're at like 18k with 18 19 somewhere around there hell yeah dude and that's not including the uh little charging service that i have there you have it guys charging lime scooters can literally be a six-figure business so let me know in the comment section down below because i'm considering this for my next turo car should i buy a pickup truck and on the days it's not rented out do lime scooters.